All right, here we go. Just wanted to talk a little bit about my FPV setup that I recently built. Um, it's kind of a nice evening to give it a little whirl. So basically, what I've got here is a QAV or a, sorry, it's a ZMR 250 uh, kit that I got off of eBay, and I'm going to put the link to that kit in the uh, hopefully on, on the YouTube video. So what you see here is you've got basically everything for FPV as well as uh, you know just an all-around racing quad which is really what the ZMR 250 frame is intended for. Uh, got a camera up front which is a CMOS camera um, and then you've got the the power distribution board which is the bottom on the bottom plate there and then with some standoffs right above that is the CC3D flight controller um, I've got these 12A ESC's which uh, control the the motors and I've got some what are these Emax MT1806 motors and then some really cheap propellers uh, but they did come with the kit. They're they're real flimsy. I'm gonna eventually play, replace them once they break. Which, uh, quite frankly, I'm surprised they've lasted this long. Um, you can also see I've got an LED strip, red on the back, blue kind of on the bottom. I decided to use Velcro on there, which uh, actually works out pretty well. And then I've got um, hot glue, or no, I think it was like a glue bubble or something that my wife had in her craft kit that I used to but it, it seems to hold it pretty well. On the back I've got a low voltage buzzer so once the um, I think it goes down once it goes down to like each cell is under 3.7 volts or right around there it's gonna start beeping uh, which is really helpful otherwise you'd, you'd have no idea um, when your battery's gonna give out. Underneath the quad I also have a video transmitter um, along with a SMA RP right angle adapter that way I could kind of have my antenna off to the side here that's turned out to work pretty well and then I've got my oops. oh I guess on the battery it's interesting to note here I've got a 2200 milliamp battery it's a little big for this quad but since I do have a Phantom um, I had three extra batteries and I figured I'd kind of use those until I ordered some new ones uh, which I do have on order, some 1500 milliamps. Um, I also have on, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, you'll notice that I also have some bullet connectors down here. So one of the things that I chickened out on was um, I did not want to directly wire to the ESC just because I was a little nervous and it was this is my first build. I did start off down that path, but... Uh, just uh, my soldering skills weren't quite up to par and I was nervous that I was going to wreck the ESC so what I ended up doing was uh, kind of coming up with a nice little way of tucking the wires under and using the bullet connectors so that, that's actually worked out pretty well and then I've got the uh, receiver for the transmitter here um, which you can see is a six channel and then here's my radio it's a uh, kind of a cheap Flysky FST6, but for a first build, it seems to be fine. And then here, I've got my, I've got a seven-inch TFT color monitor for my, I guess my base station or ground station, whatever you want to call it. I've got the RC832 receiver, and this is what sends the receives the video signal and sends it to the monitor. As you can see, there's kind of some disadvantages to this. Probably the main one being that it's just really small and um, hard to read in the sunlight. But you know, this is my kind of my first foray into FPV, so you know, it, it is what it is, and it's it's a good opportunity to to learn it. Down here, um, I've got the basically another <coughs> 3S battery running to the different power. So one of the things that it took me a while to figure out was how to connect all this up. And I ended up finding a nice little XT60 adapter which gave me the DC plug that goes to the monitor. And there's also another um, 
DC 12 volt that came with the transmitter that I ended up just patching into. Uh, this particular camera uh, does not have audio on it, so all you're really sending is a video signal. Um, I do have this Xiaomi Yi camera. Uh, it's basically like a cheap Chinese GoPro. It's I think around 80 bucks. That's going to go on here eventually. Um, I haven't learned quite how to record with it yet. Otherwise, I would have recorded this video with it. Um, so it's it's not overly intuitive, and a lot of the instructions are in Chinese. So probably something I can find on YouTube in a few minutes. I just haven't done it yet. All right. So uh, oh, one last thing. I've got this case that I got from Harbor Freight for around thirty dollars. It's a pretty cheap case, but the um, the quad fits in here nicely. I just plucked out a few pieces of foam and then I also take off the antenna and put it down here and then this side I just put the uh, radio transmitter just fits in like so so it's not not so bad um, not bad for 30 bucks there are probably better deals out there um, as well but you know for it just happened to be a good fit for the time when I needed it so all right um, I'm gonna go ahead and Give it a spin. All right, getting ready to launch her here. Um, not quite sure how well this filming's gonna work, and I'm still kind of learning here, but uh, you know, we'll see what, what we do. All right, to arm it, I basically have to go down like this for a couple seconds, and then once I do that, it's armed. And I just do the opposite motion to disarm it. So here we go, we're gonna give it a little lift off. And we're going to crash it hard. Nice. Alright, so that was interesting. Um, was not quite paying attention. And I wrecked it. But these things are pretty sturdy. So, believe it or not, there doesn't appear to be much damage. But yeah, that was quite a hit. I popped the house and landed on some gravel. But, uh, oh, that did seem to take the hit okay. All right, we are actually back in business. Uh, that was a little bit of a rough wreck, probably the roughest one I've had so far, but um, I was able to recover the missing pieces, and it um, seems to be fine. I guess we'll see here in a second. Good to practice line of sight before you FPV, which uh, I'm not quite doing right now. I'm sort of looking over as I go. propellers broke. I thought that might happen um, because it was a little weak, but uh, that's okay. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a real bad crash. So there we go. This thing isn't indestructible. Uh, there you can see my first propeller break. How about that? Cool. So luckily I ordered a ton of propellers um, and they're all the, the gem fans. 50, 45, so I'll be putting those on next. 
All right. Thanks for watching.